hello everyone hope you are all right in today's video i'm going to show you how to grow lupins from seed here i have got my seed packet from johnson's i'm not sponsoring any brand you can buy seed from wherever you can find them this is gallery of blue shades and here are instructions on growing them so if you start them early during the year like from january to march they will flower for you the same year if you start them late like april to july then you will have to wait another year for them to flower so i'm in january and i'm going to start them in january so here is my recycled plastic pot I have washed it and cleaned it and it has drainage holes at the bottom you can use anything which you can find basically two to three inches deep would be better to give them some time to grow and establish in there so i'm filling it up with multi-purpose compost which is nice and loose and moist already so i'm going to fill it up press it so there are no air pockets you can use any seed starting or potting mix you prefer but you should not use garden soil because it can be heavy and it can carry pathogens and weed seeds. So here are my lupin seeds which are really nice sized and there are not many in the packet. So I have got 5 to 6 seeds here. So I am going to make holes with my finger and put the seed in 1 cm deep and then cover them with multipurpose compost, moisten them and keep them in my greenhouse so i'm in january and we are in zone 8 uk so it's like um, 0 to 2 degrees centigrade most of the days and nights could be even freezing but in the greenhouse it stays above freezing so this is after a month or so and you can see most of the seeds have germinated and they are starting to grow their first set of true leaves and this is the one which is self-sown maybe i dropped a seed in a cup and it has come up so it has got its first set of true leaves already so at this stage you may even separate your seedlings and put them individually in different cups so they have more room to grow and they are still in my greenhouse so i am back after a few weeks and you can see my seedlings have grown nice and big so I'm going to plant them in my garden. So here are the seedlings which I started in January. So you can see all of them are looking really nice and big. This one has come back from last year. So I sowed some seeds last year as well. Most of them died due to slugs eating them. But one survived and this one is self-sown. So I have got 8 seedlings here. So I have arranged my seedlings where i want to plant them and basically i'm going to plant them six to eight inches apart from each other they grow nice and big so i'm going to plant them at the back of the border and i will plant some here and some in another spot so i'm going to dig a small hole in my flower border to accommodate the root ball and you want to plant them at the same soil level not very deep keeping the crown above the soil from where all the leaves and flowers come out and my garden soil is really nice and loose so if your garden soil is compact you should try to loosen it first and i'm going to amend the soil with a handful of fertilizer fish blood and bone which has lots of phosphorus in it so it will help with root growth i'm going to work the fertilizer in the soil and this will feed the plant and basically i'm going to carefully take the plant out of the pot without disturbing the leaves and root and it has got really nice root system so i'm going to loosen the roots a little bit and put them in the hole and cover them with more soil around the plant using the same native soil Lupins do prefer a little bit acidic soil so if your garden soil is not acidic it's high pH then you can add some soil acidifier to lower the pH so it will make the nutrients in the soil available to the plants and they will perform better. So here in my garden I think it is slightly acidic anyway so I'm not going to do that but I will keep an eye on and if I see them struggle then I may add some soil acidifier or like natural ingredients like you can use coffee grounds or brew tea bags 
so here i have placed my seedling in its hole and pressed the soil around it so it's nice and snug it's in place and there are no oil pockets the soil is already really moist so i'm not going to water them as we live in a humid climate we are going to get rain every day so it's okay but if you live somewhere dry it's a good idea to water them thoroughly every day until they are nice and established so here i have planted all my seedlings so i have planted four of them here and four of them in another spot so this one is like a drift at the back of the border and there are some more plants here in my flower border and then at the other end of the flower border i have got four more plants which are not uh, really in a straight line so i have got them in a zigzag manner so it's really your choice how you want to plant them you can plant in odd numbers like three and fives or you can even plant them in the container they are perennial plants so they come back year after year in our zone here in uk so they are really nice and easy to grow and here i am back after one month or so and you can see my lupin plants are growing nice and big they are nice and established now and there are some other plants which have grown big as well so you can see the lupins around them and basically they will be starting to flower soon so this is the dianthus and i have got four lupin plants around this dianthus plant in a circular zigzag manner so i am back in the middle of july after a few weeks and you can see my lupin plants are already growing their flower stalks some of them are really nice and tall really vibrant colors of blue so it's gallery of blue shades and all the lupin plants which are coming up have some touch of blue in the flower and these grow really nice and tall like one to two feet tall flower spike with lots of flowers on it and you can let them go like this bees absolutely love them they are excellent flowers to grow in a cottage garden and to attract pollinators and they catch your eye really beautiful and vibrant colors so i haven't fed them even once after planting so i amended the soil when i was planting them with fish blood and bone fertilizer and i didn't do anything else afterwards so you can see they are nice and established now and they are not struggling at all and here is the other side of the border where i planted the other four in a straight line and these are coming up really nicely as well this side gets a little bit less sun than the other side so this is a little bit behind but these plants grow well in shade so they don't need full sun they like part shade anyway so you can grow them uh, in a shady border and the leaves are absolutely beautiful too so you can see this leaf is huge and you can see the water drops on it and this is nice flower stalk and there's another coming up so it can grow like three to four flower stalks on a single plant and here is the other plant which is growing its first flower stalk so all of them are doing really well and this one is showing some signs of slug and snail damage so slugs and snails really like to munch on them so you may need to keep an eye on them and i'm really happy with how they are looking and they are absolutely easy to grow from seeds if you buy them from garden center they will cost you a lot of money so they are really economical to grow from seeds and they don't take much effort so i started them in my greenhouse i kept them in my greenhouse for two to three months until they were ready to go outside in the garden and then i planted them in the garden and basically we live in a humid climate so i didn't have to water them much but if you live somewhere dry it's a good idea to keep an eye on them to water them and if you struggle with your soil pH then you may need to lower your soil pH using soil acidifier and that's all basically so really eye catching and placing flower stalks really nice and easy to grow and attracts bees and butterflies so I really recommend that you try growing them from seed So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and it gives you plenty of information about growing lupins from seed. Please subscribe to my channel for more gardening videos and if you have any question please leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching today. See you next time. Bye.